Hello scholars, uh, today we're going to talk about different types of numbers. In particular, we're going to talk about natural numbers and we're going to talk about integers. So let's start off with natural numbers. Natural numbers are basically the positive counting numbers. For example, counting numbers. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we can just put these dot, dot, dot to show that it's sort of going on. And you may ask, well, how far does it go on, right? If I had all the natural numbers and I put them in a bag, how many would I have? And there's an infinite number of them, right? Um, you can reason about this by saying, well, if there was a finite number, if I could somehow find the largest natural number, right? Well, that wouldn't make any sense because if I gave you the largest natural number, you could just add one to it and give me back another even larger natural number. So uh, there's a sort of infinite number of these things, but they're positive counting numbers. Now the integers are positive or negative whole numbers, right? Sort of still the same thing as counting numbers. So we'll just say whole numbers. And we can express the integers as and this little squiggle thing is just sort of like uh, a collection of, it's a little set notation bracket, but it's really just saying it's like a bag, you have a bag. And so for example, we could have numbers like negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, zero is an integer, one, two, three. And in the same way that numbers go on forever in the positive direction, right? This is sort of the positive direction. They also go on forever in the negative direction as well. I could have negative four, negative five, negative six. So we're going to put a dot, dot, dot here as well. Now you may notice something interesting. The natural numbers are part of the set of integers, right? In other words, if I am a natural number, if I am in this collection of numbers, I am also an integer, right? One of them implies the other. Okay, now we want to ask ourselves, what does it mean to say that a certain kind of number is closed under an operation? And let's uh, just look at this question right here. The natural numbers are closed under, addi under addition because. So this is what this means. It means if I take any number that is a natural number, for example, 12, that is definitely a positive counting number, and I take any other number that's in here, for example, 5, doesn't matter, and I'm looking at the operation addition, so I'm going to add these two things, the question becomes, what kind of a number do I get? What kind of number? Okay, now if I get another natural number, if I get another one of these things, then we say that the natural numbers are closed under addition. Now in this case, what do I get? Well, I get 17. Well, that is, that is also a natural number, right? So we can say they're closed under addition because if I add any two, right? So it didn't just work with 12 and 5, it could have worked with other numbers as well. If I add any two natural numbers, natural numbers, the result is another natural number. And you may say, well, duh, of course this is the case, right? H however, it's not always the case, is another natural number. For example, if I looked at the uh, natural numbers and I looked at the operation of subtraction, and I say, are the natural numbers closed under subtraction? Well, if I take five, which is a natural number, and I take 12, another natural number, and I subtract them this time instead of adding them, the question is, what kind of a number is it? This is not a natural number. So we could conclude that the natural numbers are not closed under the operation of subtraction. 